welcome to my new video as per the promise which is based on the modified Euler's method. What we have to find out in modified Euler's method is that we have one thing which is newly added into it into the Euler's method is the mean slope. How can you find out the mean slope? You have to just take this uh, value of column of x to the column of y, the column of y dash. The thing which is just slightly different from the Euler's method is the new y which comes out as the old y plus h this is the same with the mean slope you have to multiply it with mean slope and you have to find out the mean slope by taking half of initial y dash plus new y dash how can you find out it this is a question same question but the limit uh, the initial point of x changes the final point is 0.3 0 to 0.3 so now we are taking just saying the interval is 0.1 the value of x now you're thinking so huge table we have to make how can we make it it's just simple it's very simple how can you find out it so uh, starting with the initial value 0 and y is 1 so your y dash which is x plus 5 becomes 0 plus 1 that is 1 initial values of mean slope is just same as y dash so your new y becomes old y which is your 1 plus for h point 1 mean slope is same for the first value 1 this becomes your new y now in second step y dash which is your x plus y your point 1 is x okay point 1 is x and your new y is 1.1 so it comes out to be 1.2 now your mean slope is half of initial y dash which is the same y dash as 1 and the su successive y dash which is 1.2 here, 1.21 here, 1.2105 here. Then you solve it and just substitute the value into it, you will get your answer. Now you see that we are taking this as points uh, 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Why are you taking 0.1 at 3 times? Because you can see the limit 0 to 0 0.3. The value is very is of very short interval. So you have to take the wet arms and just repeat all over until then you will not get the same values. Okay. You have to repeat it until you get the same value. And when you get the same value, this is your next step of 1.1105 is your next step. How can you find out it? Now, change into it. Your point 1 is this. Your x plus y dash. Your x is now 1.1105. Okay. Your y. Your y is now 1.1105. And your x is 0 0.1. When you add 1.1105 into point 0.1, what do you get? 1.2105. The first value, mean slope is just C. 1.2105, your mean slope. So, the value becomes... What is it? Old y. Old y is this 1.1105 for the intervals in plus the class interval which is the, in each, the intervals between the x that is 0.1 into your mean slope which is the same as y dash for first interval and you will get this. Now keep doing this. This is your x. This is your initial y. This is your x, this is your initial y, this is your x, this is your initial y. You have to take the intervals, repeat it until you get the same answer. Now your y is now 1.2422, okay? Your y is this. Now, what do you have to take? x. x is 0.2. When you add 0.2 here, you will get 1.4422. Your y dash is x plus y. Your x is 0.2. Your initial y is 1.2422. 2, when you add this, you will get this. Mean slope is just same as this. So your initial y plus h into mean slope, which is same. This is your answer. Now keep doing this uh, in further steps. Your interval is remaining same. The last value, which is 0 0.3, given in question. Plus your initial y, your initial y, your initial y, your initial y. And half of, this is what your initial y dash plus plus what you have to take the new y dash new y dash will be what is it 1.6875 
how you find out it by taking this on adding this into this by adding this is your new white ash this is your initial white ash this is your new white ash with respect to this this is your initial white ash this is your main means you have to take the initial white ash as constant for each and every step but your new white ash changes like in this step in second step your new white ash is 0 0.4432 okay this 1.4432 plus your new x for next step 1.6375 is your this y dash okay now in third step what do you have to take you have to take the y dash initial y dash is constant but your new y dash will become your x plus your initial 1.3997 plus 0.3 of this and you have to just substitute all these values i hope you understand in this way when you get the last two same answers this is your y of 0.3 i hope you understand it in our next video we will discuss about more ordinary differential equation solutions till then don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you keep smiling